Hi, I'm Kip K, and welcome back to another weekend project right out of the pages of Make Magazine. Now, if you're a musician or aspiring musician or have ever thought about making your own musical instrument, today's weekend project is just for you. It's out of Make Volume 9, and it's called Strung Out. So let's make it together. The template for my strung out guitar is this Ibanez bass guitar. So I drew out the shape freehand on a piece of wood, had to do it a couple times to get it right, and then used my roto zip and cut out the body of the guitar. The shape turned out pretty good for a first time freehand drawing of a guitar body, and I took some sandpaper and a sanding wheel, rounded out the edges, and sanded all the edges down smoothly. A few coats of gloss spray paint were added, and the body of the guitar is done. Now it's time for the neck, and since I'm building a bass guitar, I used one and a half inch diameter PVC pipe. I measured out 44 inches, made a mark, and then cut it with a hacksaw. Then I clamped a metal ruler to the PVC pipe and drew a straight line right down the neck of the body. Two quarter inch holes need to be drilled through on one end of the PVC pipe, one at two inches from the end and the other at three and a half inches from the end. Our guitar string will go in the top hole, but we need something to hold it in place, so we use a metal file and file out about a half inch long groove in the first hole. I took my low E bass string and put it in the hole and made sure it locked in place in the groove. Now another quarter inch hole is drilled three inches from the other end of the PVC pipe. This is where you'll feed your guitar string. When you're done with that hole, take the bit and put it at a 45 degree angle. This will make a nice area for the string to rest. And then another hole is drilled 90 degrees from that hole at about two inches. And you'll take your machine tuner and put it in place, mark the two holes that hold it in place, drill the holes, and install the two screws that come with the machine tuner. Now we'll need a pickup, which will convert our string vibrations into electricity, and we're using a piezo element from Radio Shack. The top of it needs to be completely cut out and removed, so I used a pair of snips to cut around and then also used a Dremel to cut the entire top of the piezo element off. Then I took a little rubber foot and stuck it right in the middle of the piezo element. Take one of the PVC end caps and drill an eighth inch hole directly through the center of it. And then I've got a mini audio extension cable. We'll be using that from the piezo element to our amplifier. I snipped off the end of the jack and fed that through the PVC cap. Don't forget to tie a knot to keep it from pulling out. And then I used a zip tie and taped a zip tie to the audio cable ends and pulled it up through the hole in our guitar neck. After making the connections from our piezo element to our cable and heat shrinking them, we'll pull them back through the hole in our guitar neck. We'll also need a little rubber stopper, and I drilled a hole right through the center of the stopper, and then also trimmed off one of the edges so that it would lay flat, and fed the other end of our guitar string through the rubber stopper. This is a good time to test the placement of the guitar string, so put the one end in the very first hole, and pull it tight, and make sure it sits nicely over the little rubber foot on the center of the piezo element. Okay, it's time to mount the body of the guitar to the neck, so we draw a straight line down the back of the body and mark four holes evenly spaced and then drill them out with an eighth inch drill bit. We also need to countersink the holes so our lag screw heads will fit flush on the body of the guitar. Then clamp the body of the guitar to the neck and eyeball it and make sure it's straight where the holes are and drill four holes through the body into the guitar neck. Then take your lag screws and screw the body to the neck. Make sure the screws fit flush on the back of the body. Time to attach the string and finish it up. So attach the one end of our guitar string into the hole by the piezo element and bring the other end down and insert it in the hole by the machine tuner. Then we'll feed that into our machine tuner and make the necessary turns to pull it tight. And draw that rubber stopper all the way to the end closest to the machine tuner hole. We'll need some frets so you could actually play this guitar properly, and we're using some zip ties. So attach 12 zip ties to the neck of the guitar. The strung out electric guitar is finished. Now the last step would be to use a guitar tuner and move our adjustable zip tie frets to properly tune the guitar. Well, I am not a guitarist, but I can at least pluck at it 
and show you that it works and actually sounds pretty good. Well, maybe not with me playing, but with someone who knew how to play the guitar, this would be a fun little weekend project. Well, I'm Kip K for Make Magazine, and we'll see you next week with another project you can build over the weekend.